If you're currently on your health and fat loss expedition and you just can't seem to lose weight, but you are eating all the right foods, you know, the foods labeled as superfoods or health foods or any other foods like that, that say sugar-free, carb-free, guilt-free, and everything else that goes with it, but you just can't lose weight even though you are eating these foods. Or even if you're just struggling to lose weight in general. I know I'm down here, I'm just too lazy to change the camera angle right now because I'm gonna move to my kitchen soon. I'm back, I'm up here, hello, hi. I changed the height of my chair. If everything that I mentioned sounds like your struggles, then this video is just for you. Because I'm gonna break down exactly what is going on in your nutrition plan that is potentially the thing stopping you from losing weight. Yeah, Here's the thing though, I'm not going to mention any specific brands in this video because I don't want to throw anyone underneath the bus. This video is purely just to open your eyes around the foods that you are consuming because it is most likely foods like this that is standing between you and your weight loss goals. Over here we've got a steak and avo quesadilla and it comes from a health store. Now, I'm not saying don't eat it. And one thing I'm also not saying is that, ooh, it's unhealthy foods. What I'm saying is that every single food that you do consume contains calories. And just because it's labeled as a health store or it's labeled as health foods, it doesn't mean that you don't need to be very mindful of the amount of calories in the foods that you are consuming. Just in the small steak and avo wrap, we're looking at just short of 700 calories. If your calorie goal is 1,500 calories for the day, that wrap alone is just short of half of your calorie target for the day. That will then leave you with about 800 calories for breakfast and for lunch, which is not that much. Doable? Yes, absolutely. But in comes the snacks. In this little Tupperware is banana chips. Now again, I've taken them out of their package because I don't want to be naming and shaming any people. But on the package, it does say superfoods and only 11 grams of sugar. And immediately you start thinking, okay, well, I can consume as much of this as I want, or even 80 grams of it, for example, because foods and it's low in sugar. Now, 80 grams of banana chips, for example, that are labeled as a wellness food or a superfood contain 400 calories. And I will tell you now, once you have one of these things, they are, it's the first time I'm having them, but they're, they're really good. They are really good. So again, we got to start looking at that saying, yes, okay, it's labeled as low in sugar. It's labeled as a wellness food. It's labeled as a superfood, but remember, it still contains calories calories. If you add the banana chips to the wrap, I mean not, you're not going to put them in the wrap, but you add it to your total calories for the day, 700 calories plus 80 grams of banana chips because the banana chips come in a packet of 70 grams. So just short of 400 calories. You're already sitting at just over a thousand calories for the day. Then we have this small packet of cashew nuts. And by small packet of cashew nuts, I mean 50 grams. It fits in this container. This little container of cashew nuts, 310 calories, right there. Look what else it fits into. My palm. You know what else it fits into? This palm of cashew nuts will fit into my mouth. Maybe two mouthfuls, max. And that little bad boy of cashew nuts right there, just short of 310 calories. And then we've got little sweets. They're labeled as sugar-free, zero net carbs, no nasty stuff. But if you turn the packet around, you'll see there's a nutritional label. And whilst they are very low in calories, they do still contain calories, but a lot of people might not know that. And yeah, we have, I don't know what this is, but I think it's date balls covered in chocolate. And the packet is actually labeled with, you are what you eat. I didn't turn into a date ball right now, did I? Is it a date ball? It's a date ball with a peanut in it, covered in chocolate. No added sugar, gluten-free, vegan. Yo, aren't we lucky? And again, I'm looking at the nutritional label. Not overly high in calories, but it does still contain calories. And if you look at that packet, the volume of it is really not a lot at all. So you'll sit there and you'll eat these things, but because it's labeled as superfoods, guilt-free, carb-free, sugar-free, and healthy, a lot of people think that it's pretty much free for all and you can eat as much of it as you want to because it is labeled as healthy and superfoods and sugar-free and carb-free. Always, always just remember to have a look at the packet and not get carried away with the marketing on the packet, but rather flip the packet around look at the nutritional value. And that's where tracking calories is so eye-opening. If you've got something like MyFitnessPal, you could scan the barcode of that packet in the shop and it will actually show you how many calories are within that food. You can then make a calculated choice and be like, hmm, that doesn't necessarily align with my calorie goals. Maybe I don't want a snack on that for the day. And that's why I always say tracking calories is so important, especially right in the beginning, because I always used to think I could eat as much of these superfoods as I wanted 
and that I would lose weight, but it wasn't happening. I was like, what the hell is going on here? And that's where I started learning about calories. Most things that we're eating and drinking contain calories. And if you can learn about that and understand the nutritional values of your foods, you can make more calculated choices. Just under 310 calories for this small little Tupperware of cashew nuts. And cashew nuts is what a lot of people nibble on throughout the day. So if you're struggling to lose weight, have a look at your small snacks that you're consuming. Have a look at the calorie values of those snacks. And then also have a look at foods like your salads from a health store, for example. I looked at a salad the other day, a chicken Caesar salad. It had more calories in than what a slab of chocolate did, for example. Now, again, I'm not saying go and eat slabs of chocolates every single day, but it makes you very much aware of what you are consuming and the calorie values thereof. I really hope you've managed to learn something from this video. If you have, I mean, I'm not going to say hit the like or subscribe button. That's old now. I mean, you know what to do, but I'm just super happy if you have managed to learn something from this video or you have gained some extra knowledge. Also, let me know in the comments what you want me to chat about next because I'm sort of running out of ideas here. Thank you. Asante sana squashed banana chips. Asante sana is Swahili for thank you very much.